what can you do with your used or old GPUs? You can sell it, you can give it to another friend, or you can keep it as a backup for testing purposes. My name is Diamond Rice, and today I'm going to show you how can you breathe new life into these graphics cards as a dedicated GPU for encoding in OBS. Okay, to get started, you need to have a couple of things that need to be set for your particular system. One thing is for sure, you need to have a secondary GPU. Now, this GPU should be from the same family of cards that you're using as your primary. So, since I am using NVIDIA as my primary card, you would want to use a, a card from the NVIDIA family. Now, if you're using AMD as your primary card, you would want to use AMD as your primary card or as your secondary card. You do not want to mix the two together because driver issues have become the pain between both these two uh, if you mix the two together from the NVIDIA and an AMD. I already experienced that myself. I had an old HD 7850 from AMD that I tried putting into here. It did not work. So the driver issues have become a pain and I just decided to screw it, not do it. I bought myself another card that, you know, it could be used as a dedicated encoder for these things. And also, uh, the requirement for your your secondary GPU, it needs to be having have the encoder on those GPUs. So, for NVIDIA, GTX 650 and above will do fine. So, 750 Ti, the 950, 960, all of those. But here's a tip. If you wanted to just use the encoder, you could just use the, the lowest end version of the architecture that you want. So, for Pascal, it would probably be the GTX 1050. For Maxwell, you can use the GTX 950 like I'm currently using. And then you can use as Kepler as you want to the GTX 650 at, at the least at the at the least amount. For AMD, they, theirs is a little bit different. You need something called the GCN architecture, which started happening with the in with the HD 7850s and above. So anything above with the R7 and the R9 series, and right now with the RX Vega series, all of them are okay to use as your secondary card if you want to. Now, another requirement you need to do is your motherboard needs to have at least as a minimum two different PCIe X16 slots. Now, these X16 slots can come in a variety of, come a variety of motherboards, but you do not need to have them have support for Crossfire or SLI. Because of the fact that you're only going to use power to these GPUs and no video outputs, you do not need to have it uh, have an SLI bridge or a Crossfire bridge if you're using AMD, those kinds of things. And with that, all you got to do is make sure in GPU-Z that both your graphics cards are being, uh, are being actually noticed. Here I have my GTX Titan. Uh, here on my uh, left hand side and on my right my GTX 950 that I'm currently using as my dedicated encoder. Now I picked this particular card because one it was cheap when I got it on hardware swap and also I be able to use the zero fan mode of this particular card. So when I'm running my games and using this as a dedicated card it feels like it's nothing there. It will feel like it was nothing there and I'll show you I'm going to show you this later but you want to make sure that both of these are is installed and in OBS you want to have it set it to your NVNC encoder so you go, go to your NVNC encoder go to your output go to your recording and as you notice I'm using a secondary window but as long as your encoder is set to NVNC H.264 you can maybe be able to switch all your settings that you would want to use for OBS like your rate control your bit rate things like that but the main key thing here is the one I'm having highlighted right here in a circle in the middle here is the GPU is basically the GPU here so if you hit yours to GPU zero that is your primary GPU for your card in this case would be my Titan now I can pick mine up and put mine to one or is else how many cards you want? You can just can go up to like two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it can go up to a max of eight. But all you want to do is because you have a minimum set of cards is due to mostly zero and one. You want to pick yours with zero as the secondary card as number one. And with that, you pretty much that is it. So that's all you have to do in order for you to set up uh set up OBS. Because if you set up OBS as the NVNC encoder and then set up your, I guess, the settings that you would normally would use, just the one thing that needs to be different is the GPU one. So with that set, now I'm going to show you how it works with these particular settings. So I'm going to show you how the video engine load, which is the only thing that's going to be used on the GTX 950, compared to what I do with my Titan when I just use it one time. So actually, I'll just show you. I'll show you the Titan one first. So in the settings of OBS, I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go back to the output, and I'm gonna go back to recording, 
and go back and switch this to number zero. Now, when I hit start recording here in NVNC, which I will, I'm going to do right now, you'll notice that the GPU of my 950, which is the one right above you, you notice that nothing is happening to it. GPU temperature staying the same, video engine load is at zero, interface load, all those things are at zero. So it's going to be pretty much, it's running at idle speeds because nothing is happening to the card. But if you notice in my Titan, notice how the video engine load increased itself to 100%. Because of the fact that you're using that particular NVNC encoder for that card only. That's how it that's how it works and that's how it's going to do things in it. As you notice, the encoding is going to be overloaded because I'm trying to do two different things at once. But I have two OBS windows open because I'm using Intel QuickSync as the one to do this video because obviously doing NVNC would have pretty much screwed up to everything. So notice here, video engine load going to up to 100% and you notice 950 doing nothing, like literally nothing. So I'm going to hit stop recording here and go into my settings again. I'm going to switch over to output, go back to the recording, and I'm going to go over to switch the GPU back to 1, which I would normally have. So this way we will enable the GTX 950. And then once I get this thing loaded, I'm going to have it go down again. If you notice here, you see how it's going lower, 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 and lower, right? So go here. I hit start record again. Notice how things are changing inside of the actual GTX 950 up here. It is now actually going and actually doing its particular thing where, yes, it will start to ramp up using its encoders, doing all those things. But as you see, the video engine load is going higher and also the video engine load here is going lower too. It's going to stay, it's not at 100% anymore. It's going to stay at 40% or whatnot. So you can basically split the... You will split the actual encoding sequence between the two different cards instead of doing it by just using one card here. So this is very useful for, let's say you're playing as like one of those CPU intensive games and NVNC on one particular card just pretty much won't do it for recording or just playing, you know, one of those games like, well, for example, wait, for example, Witcher series or any of those open world type kind of games. Those ones will have a very, very hard time running the game to record while you're using uh, X.264. Yeah, X this is obviously H.264, and it is using your video engine load, or the NVNC encoder that is dedicated to the GPUs that are on those cards, and most of the time are being unused, pretty much. But as you can see here, I am going to be using both of them as as pretty much my way to have the dedicated NVNC encoder itself. It will put less 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 of a load on my primary GPU and it'll allow me to do more things with it. And as you can see here, the GTX 950 is starting to get up into those particular places where the video engine load is should be going around the same. The when doing this in testing, especially since I'm only doing the display mode, I'm, I'm not running a game right now, it is showing that the, G, the video engine load is split between the two of them. But that's how it's supposed to do, and that's how it it would use as a dedicated GPU, especially if you don't want to sell the card or if you don't want anything like that. You can definitely use it as a secondary card. But be warned, you should be worried if if you're running two different cards, be worried of your PCIe uh, extensions and how you power your graphics cards because some of them do need more power or needs like a 6-pin on one of them and maybe a 6-pin and an 8-pin on one of your other cards, which I find out. So I had to use an adapter, a SATA to a PCIe adapter to to plug this GTX 950 into my system because of the fact that my power supply did not have the sufficient enough uh, cables to run it. So this is very good and very interesting. This shouldn't really replace as your second, as, as you're streaming, I guess if you're streaming on a, on a first rig or if you're doing a, just a single rig. Obviously, I have a dual PC that I'm currently setting up and things. So that's going to be another tutorial for another day, though. But if you do need any more help, though, hit me up in the comment section down below or hit me up at Twitter at Diamond Rice. I got to head out, so I will see you in the next one later. Mm -hmm.